guys, we got a box and we have scissors. <laughs> It's Jess from She's Posh. Welcome back. And today we are doing an unboxing. I got a new bag to me from Fashion File and it is summertime and I have been thinking about what I wanted to add to my collection to be rocking this summer. And this bag came on sale. It cost me right around $800 and I had sold a bag to them. So I used some credit for it. So basically it was free. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, all designer and fashion related. I love to share with you all my tips and tricks. If that is something you're into, please remember to hit subscribe below and ring my bell so we can become best friends here on the internet. Okay guys, I have a small little unboxing for you. It's probably gonna be a nice short video, but this is one of those bags I was just kind of perusing. I had a credit with Fashion File for a bag that I sold to them. So pretty much this bag was free. I had a little bit more credit left over. So I decided just to go ahead and purchase this because I think it'll be perfect for summer. It does have more wear on it, but this is a bag that I don't mind with wear on it. So I'm hoping that it'll be super cute and chic and very fun to wear this summer. So let's open it up. We got those scissors. So here we go. We have the classic fashion file. This has all my receipts, authenticity cards, everything in there. That's weird. This was not taken off the rip. Suspect. There was some confetti in there, but not that much. And I kind of appreciate that. Even though the confetti is like cute and it's part of their charm, I just, it's a mess. Cause I like to like recycle my boxes and stuff. Like when I'm doing my rentals and sending them out, I like to recycle and they always end up everywhere. So let's see this beauty. I got the Noway, Louis Vuitton Noway GM in the Demir Azor. <laughs> How cute is this? So I have just one thing in this print from Louis Vuitton. I just have my pouch bag and I've always wanted to have an actual bag in this print, but I've always been so weird about what I should get. I'm always worried about the color transfer, you know, from jeans and things like that. And I'm not a Neverfull girl and I do think it looks great in the Neverfull, but it's just, that's not a bag that I love and I would carry a lot. And I've been thinking about adding another no way to my collection. So I was thinking about getting this in maybe the, the BB size or something like that. But when I saw this for a really good deal, it does have like a decent amount of wear to it. It has a lot like right here in the corner. So I'm gonna try to like clean it up a little bit, wipe it down with a baby wipe, but there's nothing to the actual bag. There was no transfer. There's just a little bit of like watermarks here. And for me, I think the Noe GM, which you know my Noe is my favorite bag, that I really like it being worn. I like the slouch. I like the look of it. Let's open it up. Open it up and see what the inside is like. So my other Noe that I have is vintage. So it doesn't have the D-ring where this one is newer. I'm not sure the year, I'll have to look at it, but this one does have the D-ring, which is nice. And then it's just an open pit, but everything's a light interior, but I do have a organizer that I have with my other No Way bag. So I think that would be perfect to just slide in here to use it the same way. I already have that bag. So I feel like this is gonna be like such a cute summer bag to have. So the height of this bag is 13.5 inches. The length of this bag is 10.25 inches. And the width of this bag is seven and a half inches. As you can see, there is some wear to the bottom of this bag. There's some wear to the sides and it's like darkening up here on the top. So again, I'm gonna try to clean it up, but I think this actually looks really good with the bag. And plus I bought this bag for just around $800, a little over $800 with tax and everything. I did the free shipping because I am cheap in that aspect because if I can save like $30, I'm gonna save $30. So I went ahead and plus, 
So because I had sold stuff, this bag didn't really cost me that much money. So for me, I feel like this is gonna be a great addition. I have my original vintage bag right here. They look the same, as you can see. See if they're a little bit different, because this one's vintage. Pretty much the same, the only thing you can see is maybe the base is a little bit larger on the original compared to this one. But absolutely gorgeous. I love the slouchiness. I just love the look of these bags. I think they look so much better when they have a little patina on them. This bag can be a travel bag, a work bag. You can fit your laptop. I have a 13 inch laptop that fits in here perfectly. It could be a mob bag, all those things. And I found this one a little over $800. And I think these retail now for around $1,800 from the store new, because I contemplated getting it new, but it's still $1,800 is a lot of money for a bag. And I'm like, well, I don't really care if these bags necessarily have wear to them because these are kind of like my workhorse bag. Like I'm gonna, I use them for so many different things and I'm constantly wearing them that I don't care if they have wear on them as much. But I do think I want to get another like Noe to my collection. Maybe get a the Noe like BB for crossbody or something like that. Or maybe I'll get the Petite Noe in a vintage. I really love this style of bag. I love the carefreeness. And I love that not everybody carries these bags, but they should. These are so much, they're so affordable. Like I got this bag here. Yes, that was three years ago. But I got this bag for like $460 and they're still available vintage ones and it's gorgeous and so cute. And this one is a little bit harder to get because sometimes you have like color transfer and things for this bag, but this bag did not. There is some wear to it. It is hard to find them for much less than $800 in pretty like in good condition where you don't have damage to the actual canvas. I have seen them under $800, but again, there's like color transfer to the canvas. The canvas looks like it's in bad shape. So I was lucky to find this right around $800 price point. So let's try it on, shall we? Okay, here it is on me. Again, that slouch. This is adjustable length here, but I'm a shorter bag girl to my course. So I just love how this looks. And I'll give you a close up of the where you can see that there's just like darkening here. Gosh, I got my hair already stuck in there. There's some darkening here. On the inside, there are a few marks in there. I don't know if you can see it, but right to the back that I definitely should be able just to clean right up with a little like, I like to use like a little dish soap, a little water to like clean the interior, but it's just a couple little marks there. And then you just have the water marks to the bottom. But other than that, I mean, the squishiness, how comfortable this, this feels, I just absolutely, I just love it. And here's my old one. So I think I'm gonna be that crazy person. Like, you know how some people have like their speedies and all different sizes and colorways and things like that. I think I'm gonna be the crazy no way lady, right? Crazy no way lady. And I'm totally fine with it. But yeah, I've noticed the biggest difference with these bags is how this is a lot shorter, the base, than the original one from 89. This looks like that's something they kind of changed throughout the years. Cause I did feel like the GMs when I saw them looked smaller and maybe that's what it is. It's just, this is a little bit different in size from the eighties version. Okay guys, that is everything. Let me know what you think of my new bag. Do you ever do this when you have a style bag that you like? Do you get it in other colors? Is that madness? I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. And as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye guys.